So this is going to be my first pregnancy vlog with our rainbow baby. And I am so excited to be um, making these videos again. I'm so excited to be pregnant. So um, yeah, we found out super early again. Found out um, the night of 9DPO. I tested just because... No, um, I couldn't wait any longer. I was going to try to wait till 10 DPO, but I caved at 11 o'clock at night, 9 DPO, and I just grabbed a um, dollar store test, and I tested on a dollar store test, and the line was so, so, so faint, but it was definitely there. And I wasn't even going to tell, I wasn't even telling Thomas that I was testing, so I was kind of like sneaking around <laughs> with the test. And then he caught me looking at it underneath the light in like the kitchen, because the kitchen light has a really bright light. So I was looking under it, and um, he caught me looking, and it was so faint. So, um, but it was totally there. So then the next morning, I took a test, 10 DPO, with a first response, um, and there was no mistaking that line. It was totally, totally there. And that's the one I taped in my live pregnancy test video. That's the one I taped, um, was that uh, first response test. So yeah, we are super excited. But at the same time, it's almost hard to be excited because, you know, you know, given my miscarriage, it's hard, it's hard to be excited because you just don't know what's going to happen. So, um, yeah, I went and had my blood drawn on Friday, so I won't get, today is Sunday, so I won't get those results back until uh, Monday. They were checking my progesterone levels, and I'm not sure if they checked my HCG level, but that might just be kind of standard for um, a progesterone level check so I don't know if they're checking that or not but I will get those results on Monday and probably more than likely I'll go in for a second draw um, as well to compare the levels. The only issue I have right now is I'm terrified that it is my issue is a progesterone issue but I've been taking the Fertilaid which really levels out my hormones and helps um, helps elevate my progesterone levels. So I'm scared. I went and took that test, or I went and got that blood draw, but my progesterone is going to look good um, because I've been on the Fertilaid. So I'm scared once I stop that, which I have stopped the Fertilaid, I'm scared that my progesterone levels are going to plummet. And I'm thinking that might have been what happened last time as well. So I don't know. We'll find out. Um, I am continuing taking Vitex because the, one of the main ingredients in Fertilate is Vitex. So I'm taking Vitex. I'm going to take that through the first trimester. Obviously I'm going to talk to my doctor, but until I can talk to my doctor, I'm going to, I've been taking one pill of Vitex a day because everything I've read um, says that you're supposed to wean yourself off of Vitex or if you stop Vitex early and your body really needs it, that your progesterone can plummet. So I'm taking Vitex one pill a day for the first trimester and then I'm going to wean myself off of it. So, and I'm not just going to completely quit like I did last pregnancy, which I think I think that might have contributed to my miscarriage. So, until I can talk to my doctor, I'm going to take the Vi keep taking the Vitex. Um and uh because I haven't got to talk to him, the only person I've talked to is a nurse and she kind of just told me over the phone to go get my blood drawn and they would call me with the results on Monday so I haven't even gotten to talk to my doctor or anything so that's what I'm doing I'll grab my pills that I'm taking because I have not seen my doctor yet I haven't gotten a prescription for prenatal so I just had to go out and buy some and we were by Kroger so we just stopped at Kroger and I just I don't even know what to get so I chose um, a one a day prenatal looks like this and then it came in the same box it came with a one a day DHA supplement. So I take a prenatal and a DHA su supplement every day. Um, I take those with dinner and then I've been taking just one pill of Vitex in the morning. And uh, so those are the uh, supplements that I'm taking. 
I kind of went back and forth trying to decide if I wanted to take a baby aspirin because baby aspirins, um, you know, can thin your blood and uh, in some situations prevent miscarriages. And a lot of times that's kind of a common proce standard procedure for fertility clinics and things like that. They'll put um, them on a baby aspirin a day. But I decided against it because I don't want to like become enslaved to another pill. Like I already feel like I have to take this Vitex or my progesterone is going to plummet. So I didn't, I just didn't want to even mess with a baby aspirin. So I'm not taking that anymore. I did buy it and I actually took it for one day, but I'm, I'm not going to take it anymore because I just, oh, I just don't feel, I don't feel like being enslaved to another pill. Like it's kind of hard to explain. So those are the only three things that I'm taking. So the only two uh, symptoms that I've had has been cramping and dreams, like crazy dreams. So um, um, cramping started at 6 DPO, which I thought was kind of early for Im implantation cramping, but I guess it was. So I've been having cramps ever since, and that was just like I had with um, my pregnancy in August and with Jaden's pregnancy. I had cramps forever, like the first few weeks of pregnancy I had um, cramps. So those are the only symptoms I've had. Um, weird dreams, like every morning I wake up to a weird dream, which is kind of weird. And I usually don't dream, so the only thing I can contribute it to is pregnancy. <coughs> so today I am 14 DPO and I was supposed to start my period today and I have not. And um, yeah, I took a pregnancy test this morning and it was super dark. So, so far things are looking good. <sighs> so I just got to wait for those blood results and, um, um, yeah, and then I'll have an ultrasound probably around six weeks to see if there is a heartbeat. But other than that, just, um, send sticky baby vibes our way, hoping that this little bean sticks this time and um, more than anything we're hoping that it ends in a happy healthy baby in my arms instead of um, in loss like it did in October which is it's kind of ironic um, I lost a baby in October and then this baby is due in October so this baby will be due like in the middle of October so most likely it will be due um, this baby will be born sometime in the month of October so I think that's kind of special so as far as what we did differently this cycle, there's a couple things that we did differently. Um, I was taking the fertile aid for women and um, fertile CM, and Thomas was taking fertile aid for men. And um, what else? Oh, we also use preseed, but we've been using preseed the the uh, other couple of cycles. We use preseed, and um, so um, where was I at? Oh, and also. Um, you know, before every time we would finish baby dancing, I would prop my legs up and put a pillow under my hips, and I would stay like that for like 15 minutes. Um, but this time, I was researching, and I have a, I have a uh, tilted uterus, so I was researching, and they say that it's best to actually lay on your stomach after baby dancing. So that's what I did. I laid on my stomach afterwards each time, and put a pillow up underneath my thighs so that my hips were a little elevated. And I stayed like that for like 15 minutes and then I just fell asleep. Like every time I refused to get up. Like once <laughs> once we were done, I was on my, my stomach for the rest of the night. And so I didn't get up to go pee. I didn't get up at all until the next morning. So those were the things that we did differently. <laughs> and I guess some, I don't know, something worked this cycle. So um, I don't know what it is. But so yeah, those were the things we did differently. Alright, that is it. If you have any questions, leave them below and hopefully this pregnancy ends um, with a new baby, a new family, a new, a new addition to our family. So <laughs> A new family. It's what still a new family member. So, family. well, we will be a new family. We'll be a family of four <laughs> instead of a family of three. But, um... So yeah, it's still early, so anything could happen, so I'm trying not to get too excited. Um, we haven't bought anything, any baby buys yeah, yet. Yeah, but to be so. fair, we had a lot of stuff over from last time, so, so. I can just give you that stuff again. Like, 
So, yeah, that's it. And I will Ooh, update... We can crack out James on the Big Brother shirt again. Yeah, we can. For... Well, I need to get that out of uh, storage wherever we stuck it. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I will, I'll do a super quick update. Um, if I can even figure out how to do do videos on my phone. Every time I try to do a video on my Android phone and upload it to YouTube, it never works. So maybe I'll try to do that with um, my uh, blood results on Monday. Alright, that's it, and we will see you guys next week. Bye!